Hello my friends, welcome back. In this video we're going to examine uh, judgment within the context of social metacognition. And again I remind you of that little saying, I can talk myself into anything. If you will recall from our previous videos, we have defined metacognition as being thinking about thinking. So here we see a person thinking and what they're thinking about is thinking. Metacognition is thinking about thinking. And metacognition can involve making judgments about thoughts. I want to point out to you at this point that metacognition by nature is a reflection. Reflection upon thinking. And metacognition certainly does involve making judgments about the thoughts that an individual has. Judgment can be defined as the forming of an opinion, estimate, notion, or conclusion as from circumstances presented to the mind. Judgments about thoughts have the ability to change attitudes and to influence behavior. The judgments that we make as we reflect upon our thoughts and the judgments we make about the thoughts that we have as we reflect on our thoughts have the power to change our attitude and influence our behavior. Examination of metacognitive judgment certainly provides insight into influencing attitudes and behavior. So if judgments can change attitudes and influence behavior, then examination of metacognitive judgment certainly does provide insight into methodologies for influencing attitudes and behavior. Metacognition judgment involves first primary cognition, immediate association between attitudes, objects, or traits, for instance, we see an individual here who has an immediate response to a red pickup. Uh, secondary cognition is reflective judgments made about primary cognitions. Uh, why do I like red trucks? Let's go back. Primary cognition is about the object, the red truck. Immediate, I like red trucks. And then secondary cognition is reflection upon that primary cognition. And we might ask my, ourselves, why do I like red trucks? Primary cognition and secondary cognition are very important aspects of metacognitive judgment. Now we will examine six dimensions affecting metacognitive judgments. They are valiance, number, target, origin, confidence, and lastly summary evaluation. Now valiance refers to the emotional value associated with a thought. Valiance is often described as whether a thought is viewed as favorable or unfavorable. Favorable thoughts are certainly more likely to influence attitudes and behavior, and unfavorable thoughts are less likely to influence attitude and behavior. Now, internal valiance is much more influential than external valiance in impacting attitudes and behavior. Uh, to give you a diagram of that, let's consider internal valiance versus external valiance. Uh, my opinion, I'm very favorably impressed uh, with that thought. It has a very favorable perception, and my opinion is more important than their opinion. So internal valiance or an internal perception of the favorability of a thought is much more important to us than external valiance concerning the favorability of a thought as viewed by others. Less important is their opinion, more important is my opinion. So you got that down. Now number refers to the number of thoughts about an object of interest. Uh, this little green pickup, love it. I kind of laugh about this when I see it. I remember being young and meeting my well, the sweet lady that has been my wife now for these 35 plus years. I thought about her day and night. Uh, I laugh. Of course, you know, when I was a kid, I wanted to pick up. I thought about it day and night. Now I'm 56 and I think about retiring day and night. The more you think about something, then the more you're reflecting on it. And an increase in number increases attitude strength. So the number is very important. How much do you think about, not only is it perceived as favorable or unfavorable, but how many thoughts do you have about a specific object? Target refers to the object of the thought. Remember this little video? Love it. What's the object of the thought? Well, the object is this green pickup right here. That's exactly what the target of the thought is about. There it is. Target. You see it now. Judgment about the target affects judgment about the thought. In other words, if you have a favorable opinion of green pickups, 
then it's very more likely that your thought about green pickups will be perceived as favorable. If you don't like green pickups and you just despise green pickups and you think green pickups are the most awful thing there ever was, then it is more likely that your thoughts about that will be also be perceived as unfavorable. Uh, origin refers to the source of the thought. This again is mine versus theirs. Where does the thought come from? Is it my thought or is it their thought? Might be one way of looking at origin. Uh, what or, or originated the thought? Now, there are a lot of things other than just internal and external that, that relate to an origin. Uh, a thought might be generated from something unpleasant that occurred to an individual. I, I know that a thought might be generated from something pleasant that occurred with an individual. I walked in, a, I went to see a neighbor the other day and walked in the house and I smelled these wonderful cookies. And immediately that thought transported me back to when I was a child and I was at my grandmother's and she was cooking those homemade cookies. And let me tell you what, it was a very pleasant thought. Now what was unpleasant about it is that I'm a diabetic and couldn't eat them. But it was still a good thought while it was going on. So origin refers to the source of the thought. Confidence refers to the level of certainty people place in their thoughts. Confidence can range from extreme certainty. I'm extremely certain that this thought is right on target to extreme doubt. I have extreme doubt about what I'm thinking in regard to that. And you probably find yourself at times as you reflect upon your thoughts uh, questioning the legitimacy of that thought, or you may be absolutely certain that that thought was right on target. Anything that impacts confidence in a thought will increase the valiance regarding the thought. So if, if, if confidence is increased in the thought, then the favorableness or the unfavorableness of the thought will likely increase as well. Summary evaluation refers to the individual summary judgment concerning the de desirability of a specific thought. One way people can determine if they like a thought is, is by determining how it makes them feel at the time of the thought's generation. Now, I want you to imagine with me just a minute, let's have a thought. I want you to envision the mountainside in Colorado. Beautiful, beautiful mountain scenery. Here you are sitting on a balcony. you got your hot chocolate beside you. The snow's coming down. Isn't that a lovely thought? And it wouldn't it be desirable to be there? Now I want you to think another thought. Uh, a child just came to your house, and that child is mad and screaming and kicking and biting and running through your house. That's not a very desirable thought, is it? Now when you look at a thought and you decide... That and, and really go to how that thought makes you feel, uh, it does affect your opinion of the thought itself and your evaluation of the thought. Now, examination of metacognitive judgment provides insight into fluence and attitudes and behavior. We have examined six dimensions of metacognitive thought. We have looked at valiance, which is whether the thought is favorable or unfavorable and the degree to which it is deemed as being favorable or unfavorable. Number is how many thoughts we've had about an object. And of course, as we reflect on, uh, on certain things, then the number of thoughts we have increases, and as the number of thoughts we have increased, and we reflect more and more than certainly does make sense, that we have a lot greater ability to analyze the thought uh, that we're having. Target is, is, what is the, what is the thought directed towards? Origin is where, what, where did the thought come from? Confidence is whether or not we have, uh, we're, we're assured the thought is valid or whether we have extreme doubt as to its validity. And then summary evaluation is just how we look at it at the end. How did it make us feel? And all of those things affect our metacognitive judgment. Now, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. We will continue this series shortly with other videos and in the words of the Hunger Games, may the odds be ever in your favor. And again, I wish you that unless you and I are in the same competition. Then it's every man for himself. Have a good day.